Hi guys, I've uh, received another question this week um, about uh, lower body training in off season for women uh, playing rugby sevens and preparing for the rugby union season at the same time. Um, so, a lot to get your head around there. Um, typically, um, you know, the off season period is the golden period for a lot of these uh, team sports, field sports, um, where you have you know that four to six window of um, of play, as it were, uh, to really go hard, really hammer into your athletes, and and try and make the best gains that you possibly can because they're not actually competing. Um, but you have a lot of things to consider as well. I mean, everything that depends off situation. Um, so for for this example, we have um, women playing sevens but preparing for the new season. Uh, so they're getting a lot of um, short burst, sprint, uh, repeated sprints. Uh, aerobic system adaptation uh, whilst playing the game of sevens if we're not too familiar with sevens uh, you're playing on a full size pitch seven aside uh, 10 minute games and if you reach finals I'm pretty sure it's up to 14 minutes a game but you know you're covering a lot of ground um, really focusing on that maximal aerobic speed um, so the uh, energy system development is so advantageous. That being said, we now want to look at how you would program in and what you would kind of look to do with these athletes. So first and foremost on the list is when, okay? When do we look to do this? Personally, if they have a competition on the Saturday, I'm going to go two days after. Okay, uh, they're playing a full game, a full competition of sevens on just one day. You know, I'll go from Saturday. I'll let them train again uh, on the Monday. But if it's a Saturday, Sunday, they're going to have to rest until Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. All depending on how your athletes feel. Secondly, is what? Okay. What are you going to do with your athletes? What is your objective? What is the aim? So we've looked at, you know, we're talking about lower body training. Um, so with women, tendency is to recruit mass on the thighs and hips anyway. So you're not going to be too focused on hypertrophy. Um, you're looking at more power uh, and nervous system adaptation. So. All you want to do is provide stimulus for them to become more powerful. So, exercises and types of things that you could use would be medicine ball throws, any types of jumps, um, some loaded sprinting. Again, with women, there may be a low training age or a high susceptibility to training. So, you know, anything that you're going to throw at them will work, will help, but what you don't want to do is exhaust them. You remember you're trying to saturate the systems, not desaturate the systems. Okay, so with these exercises that you're taking on board, again, do not rule out your squats, deadlifts, trap bar deadlifts, lunges, those sorts of things, and or Olympic lifts if you choose to use them in your programming. Uh, Remember to keep the reps low, keep the intensity high, keep the rest periods long. Um, and how I would periodize this uh, would be um, typically over uh, a four to six week period. If your main focus is preparing them for the season, I would want them to be maxing out, you know, close to be peaking at the start of the season. So you would um, have some more volume based strength training uh, early doors and you know building into those higher reps later. An important thing to always remember is when if you're a coach just trying to advise your athletes how to train is 
that one thing always comes first and it's injury prevention. That is the first and foremost on any program or, or any program should have. There's no point going into the gym, loading up bars and watching people hurt themselves. Okay, the one thing, one key thing to look out for with female athletes is what happens at the hip and, and knee, what's called the Q angle. You'll find that when they go down, that's what will happen. If this is the knee and the hip and the feet, the knees will drop in drastically. You see this a lot with guys as well, but more with, um, more with women because they're, where their uh, femur sits into their hip, uh, it has got a much wider angle to the knee, which um, puts a lot of shearing forces on the internal, um, the medial surfaces of the knee. So one thing to do for this straight away is start strengthening the external rotators of the glutes, okay? Um, You'll find loads of mini band exercises, those sorts of things. Throw them in in your warm ups, throw them in uh, in your um, technical sessions as well as resting. Hands down, you don't want knee injuries uh, in your off season or at all because all it's going to do is halt your progress. Uh, I hope that helps. Again, any questions, throw them up on the page and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thank you.